this kid gives me wings, and yet he's only just beginning to develop himself into a fine king amongst men. And as I continue to reflect upon my own journey, having taken a chance on myself these last couple of years, attempting to become a more independent thinker, a better friend, a real fisherman, and a half-decent filmmaker, I keep thinking back to my time with Chance Collins this last summer, and how he reminds me a little bit of myself when I was a kid, with that big world in front of me, and the birds, and the bugs, and the fish in every direction, and all of the possibilities that existed outside. Too small. It's too small. Can we stay for a little bit more? There you go, grab. See you later. Let's grab the perch. Hey, Jackson, will you carry the worms? Kind of big job. Will you carry the worms, Jackson? Good job. Chance, has he seen the YouTube video where you're the star of the show? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah, I guess Jackson who... has too. He watches YouTube all the time. I've heard you guys are YouTubers. Guys, I think I have I love the... some <laughs> videos. Mostly my whole YouTube. Like all you guys, mostly all just you can see YouTube of your guys' videos. Yeah, oh, it's just on my me. tablet. I'm flattered, Jackson. Are you gonna be the next star of uh, an episode? Yeah, maybe. Yes. <laughs> you see. Unlike me, Chance still has the chance to do things right the first time, to follow his dreams and make them come true, and to get things right the first time. Chance still has that chance. And it's certainly not by chance that his father Michael and I reconnected last summer for the first time in 20 years and spent 11 days and 10 nights in the Montana wilderness under some big skies and starry nights. And that was not by chance. And I've seen in him a loving father take a son under his wings and alongside him and tell Chance that he can do anything his heart desires so long as he works hard, makes good choices, and learns all of the things along the way. And this gives me hope. Hope not only that our rivers can heal, but that so can our families and communities heal too. I'm going to... Switch this smoked salmon around and, and I'll be right with you. Hey, where are we where are we going? Beach. What are we gonna do there? Fish. Sounds like a plan. Yay! You're rolling them in because these things pull line. You're going to be fighting one of the most strongest fish I've ever reeled in in my life, Jackson. They're more stronger than a shark. I mean, these things just tug line. He's been doing pretty good. Yeah? Exploring the beach. He found all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. I had a rock crab. This gal's I mean, a dungeon -esque. I don't know what it was, but it was big and it had long legs. Mm. Pointy head. Mm -hmm. Thirsty Joel? I got a bottle here. right here. <laughs> this gal's really uh, nice and she's been really talkative and really Sweet. totally falling in love with Chance and stuff. And Hard not to do. Yeah, yeah she helped him with the... Uh, she helped him get re rigged gave him a hook and stuff when he got snagged and have been helping him with all kinds of Here, let me help you fix that one pole. Uh, yeah, it's probably on there. Did you ever see, um, what was the one about the witches? And uh, the, where they, those kids went out and there was this, the Belfair Blair, Witch Project. Blair Witch Sorry, Project. Witch. Witch. Yeah. What is it? Blair Witch Project. Okay, so that one had me fooled. I remember sitting in the chair in a hotel in Texas watching that and like, going oh my god when it ended oh my god i believed it then i saw the oscars or whatever and they were like yeah it was all a scam 
Well, there was a documentary about mermaids. I'm probably ruining it for you. <laughs> but I totally believed that you they put it. it all together on this biological and all this evidence out there about, my, oh, about real mermaids. And I'm like, wow, remember Chance? We were like, wow, there may have been mermaids. And then you find out that we're all actors. That's Hook, awesome. line, and sinker. Man, we're so all I fishing. guess I'd be a sucker fish. <laughs> Taking the bait that's my fish. That's sucker fish. That's my, what do they call the that? The spirit animal. That's my totem. Your, sp your totem <laughs> is the sucker, is the squaw fish. The sucker fish. And today I'm asking you for another chance. I'm asking you to allow me to lead you down the trail of some of God's most beautiful creations and introduce you to some pretty cool friends I've met along the way who have some pretty cool stories of their own. So my only question for you is, will you take a chance on me? My dad, this is my dad, Jim. Oh, cool. He, uh, he went to his Bible study Thursday oh, yeah. night, so he had his truck. I threw my poles in my BMW in the trunk. There you go. <laughs> bucket of water in the floorboard of the passenger oh, seat. No. <laughs> Came down here. I was here until dark. Really? Yeah. yeah I didn't get anything. No. Well, oh well. A couple hey. shakers. That was it. A flounder. You know, it's there's no better spot you could you know hang out for an evening anyway. So whatever. What difference does it make whether they're biting or not? Mm -hmm. <laughs>